What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing them the bacon NBA DFS video. It is Sunday. It is April 14th. It is the final day of the regular season. We've already got some big names that are already going to be out, so it's going to open up a little bit of value. Um, if you've never been here before, <clears throat> hopefully you're in for a treat. So we're going to do things a little bit differently for the last day. For whatever reason, it's split into two slates. The main slate is eight games. The afternoon slate, which only starts two hours later, is seven games. So we've got the 15 games there. I just I don't understand why they split it up, but we're going to maybe that helps you out. So we're going to do things a little bit differently than probably what you're used to. We are going to um, go through each slate. We are going to give you the top five plays at each position. And then we're going to build a lineup using one of our tools. So the tool we're going to use is the NBA points allowed by position tool under the NBA tab. You can see what we've got going on there. We've got Vegas odds, bets, simulation models, fantasy points allowed, which we're using chalk. So with cash, you want to use chalk. If you're playing tournaments, you want to go against the chalk. So that's how you build your bankroll. We've also got projections and our cheat sheet as well. Then at the end, we are going to build a lineup there. Then we're going to switch to the main or the afternoon slate, and we're going to do the same exact thing. So a little bit different, um, but in the description of this video is today's article, which you can see on the screen, which has three top, three mid, and three value picks at each position that you can check out. On top of that, in the description is the link to the Discord. So if you want to get in there and ask questions, go back and forth, give advice, uh, seek advice, go check that out. So we also have giveaways, two ways to win. First one, like this video, be a subscriber, and just leave a comment. Good or bad, obviously you would love a positive comment, but positive or negative. And if this video gets at least 50 likes and you've left a comment, you have a chance to win a free week of FTA+. Plus. That includes a week of MLB, a week of NASCAR, a, uh, a week of NBA, a week of PGA. We've got it all. If the video gets at least 100 likes, you'll have a chance to win a free month. 125 likes is a chance to win a free year. And if we ever get a 200 or more likes on a video, you have a chance to win a $500 lifetime pass for just leaving a comment like in the video. The second way to do it, tell me, who, leave a like, obviously like the video, but uh, tell me who is going to score the most amount of uh, DraftKings fantasy points on this slate. And how many fantasy points are they going to score? So who's going to be the highest score on DraftKings and how many fantasy points will they score? If you get it closest without going over, you will win a free week of FTA+. Plus. If you get it exactly correct, you will win a free month of FTA+. Plus. So that being said, uh, we do have FTA+. Plus. It's a uh, We're still running a special. We have a few coupon codes left. The yearly pass, normally 199 Use the promo code BIRTHDAY, all one word, all capital letters. My birthday was last week. We are giving the pass out for $99. So you get $100 off if you want. So we had 10 total coupon codes. I can't, there's a few left I haven't looked today. So that being said, um, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to give you five plays at each position with the projections. Now these will change a little bit if other people are ruled out. So I wanted to get this video to you as early as possible so we could build around it and you had time. But there are gonna be some of these names I feel because this is the last day of the season, of the regular season, we're gonna see some other names out. But we are still got a couple of games uh, that matter. We've got a couple of teams that are still fighting so we will use that to our advantage. So looking at the point guard position right now, uh, number one, Jalen Brunson, DVP is number 20th, so not a bad DVP for him. We're projecting right around 53 fantasy points. Number two is Emmanuel Quickly, uh, 21st DVP here and 45 fantasy points. Number three is Tyrese Halliburton here against Atlanta, 19th DVP, looking right around 44 fantasy points. Um, we've got Donovan Mitchell at 22nd DVP with right around 42 to 45 fantasy points. And then number five is Tyrese Maxey, not the best DVP, eighth overall, uh, 41 fantasy points is what we are looking at out of him. Moving to the shooting guard, you got Deontay Murray, not the best DVP, fourth DVP overall, but uh, we're looking about 30 to four, 38 to 40 fantasy points out of him. Number two is Tyler Hero, 13th DVP against Toronto. We're looking right around 36 fantasy points out of Tyler. Um, number three is Dante DiVincenzo. 10th DVP, looking right around 36 fantasy points. 
Number four is Cam Thomas. We've got Cam Thomas against Philly. They are fifth uh, against DVP against this position, but we got him right around 35 to 38 fantasy point projection, uh, early projections. And then number five, Brandon Miller against Cleveland, seventh DVP, 32 fantasy point range. About 32 to 35 is what we've got him. Now, this, I, I will tell you, maybe play a little bit light today just for the fact that you might not see the amount of minutes. You might not see the amount of play time. The players might be going in and out. It really just depends. It's one of those weird days where I won't be playing heavy. I might not play at all uh, because on the site, we still have baseball today. We still have NASCAR today. That's all going there. So looking at all of that, maybe play light today and just wait for the playoffs, but I wanted to get this out to you. So... We moved to the small forward. Uh, we've got number one here, uh, Jimmy Butler, 13th DVP. We got him around 42 to 45 fantasy points. Uh, Denny Adesia here, three, uh, third DVP overall, 42 to 45 fantasy points. Uh, number three is Pascal Sycom against Atlanta, 29th DVP. Love this matchup for him. One of the best matchups for him at 29th DVP. Looking right around 40. Would not be surprised if he goes for closer to 50. Number four is Josh Hart against Chicago, 10th DVP overall, but 36 to 38 fantasy points. And then number five is Chris Middleton. I think he's going to get a little bit extra run with Giannis being out. We've got him, 9th DVP, but 35 to 38 fantasy point range for it. Then we move to the power forward. Paolo Bonchero is here. We've got him, 13 DVP, so almost in the middle, um, 42 fantasy points out of him. Uh, Bobby Portis here. I could get a little bit more run, too, with Giannis being out. Fourth DVP overall, but we're looking about 37 fantasy points. Number three is Evan Mobley against Charlotte. A fantastic matchup for him. Hopefully the game stays a little bit closer. We've got him at 29 DVP, so there's only one other team that's worse against that position. We're looking about 34 to 36 fantasy points. And then R.J. Barrett against Miami. 18 DVP, looking right around 33 to 34 fantasy points out of him. Now we move to the center position. Joel Embiid is questionable. I'm trying to see... If, in fact, questionable tag, tweaked his knee, could be held out. Yeah, it just really depends. Um, this is one to wait. If he is in, then obviously he's in a great spot. But maybe he's not 100% with the knee, so that might be a little bit weary because he is 10th DVP. We do have him projected at 53, but just the, the injury factor, I might be off of him. So we got uh, number two is Bam Adebayo, 21st DVP here, looking about 43 to 45 fantasy points. We've got um, Jared Allen going up against Charlotte, 29th DVP here, um, right around 38 to 40 fantasy points out of him. Uh, Miles Turner is next, 29 DVP also, looking about 32 fantasy points. And then Nick Claxton going up against Philly, would like him a little bit more if Embiid is out. We've got him right around 32 fantasy points. So those are the projections for the main slate, the five at the top. If you want to see three top, three mid, and three value at each position, that is this article. That is in the description down below. So definitely check it out. If you've got questions, uh, get those asked as well but we are going to build a lineup through here so this is how to read the tool you go through you click on it on the website it brings you to this you can actually it'll bring it into a the web page but you go down to the bottom and there's a little button to expand it and it'll it'll pop up its own um own window so we look at this and here's how we do it so we're going position by position we're looking at chicago we we want to go to uh point guard so we're looking at utah Utah Spurs, Phoenix Lakers. These are the worst against point guard. Utah, are they playing this slate? No. Utah, Spurs, Phoenix, Lakers, Wizards. Wizards are playing Phoenix. Okay, so just using what we can possibly use right now, we've got, um, and this is what you're going to see, like Boston's going to have, you're going to find value in Boston game. You're going to find Pritchard, Hauser, Cornette. Like, this is what you're going to find. Um, so, unfortunately, we, I mean, it's probably going to be Pritchard for me. Um, he still makes the, the minutes. Uh, we, we should see a run there. Probably play most of the game. All of the main starters are going to be out for Boston. All the, the teams that have made the playoffs, we're probably going to see the out be there. And that's probably what we're going to expect. So, that's what I would look for when building that lineup out. Just be careful. I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of things going on here. 
So, <clears throat> moving on to the next position, you've got shooting guard here. Wizards, Utah, Atlanta give up the most. I, I feel like we're going to have this. It's probably going to be a Boston stack. Uh, Wizards, Utah, uh, like this is what we're going to see. Um, I think you're going to want to take some exposure to Boston here. Um, you've got Svi here, the game log wise. We used him the other day, 34 minutes. Didn't do anything with it. 34 minutes. I feel like we're going to see the same exact thing. That was against Charlotte, which was a good matchup with how bad Charlotte is. But you're looking at Sam Hauser in that same game. We saw 30 minutes out of him, 26 fantasy points. He is a little bit more expensive, though. So I think people are going to be on Hauser. I think I want to go with a little bit of Svi. Or you could look at Springer. Jaden Springer. Minutes have been there. Got 10 times value that game. 3,900. People are going to be on the other two. I want to take someone at 3,900. I want to take someone at that price. You, you've saving 100 between Svi, which I completely understand, and Springer. But I think Springer he, trying to show something towards the end of the season before the playoffs start. So that's kind of what you're going to see in the NBA this week or this day. Um, it's going to be like that. It's going to be a lot of these teams. Washington, again, is second worst against a small forward. Toronto, Atlanta, follow up behind there. Um, so Atlanta is playing. So Indy, Toronto, so Miami. So depending, we've got Tatum out. We've got Brown out. That brings Jimmy Butler, a, a stud if you want to pay up for Jimmy Butler. You're looking at game logs. Hasn't really done much lately. Past couple of games have been, been kind of stinky. Uh, Pascal again, 8,000. Like I said, he's been slowed down too. Uh, but I like his matchup here. I like this. It's a high score, a high paced team. He's on the game. Hopefully stays a little bit close. I'm going to take him and pay up for him. So then we move to the power forward position. Going to power forward, we look at this. Toronto, Utah, Washington. Okay. We look at that. Toronto, Utah, Washington. So it's Miami, and it's Boston yet again. Is it going to be Jovic here? 4,700 game log. The minutes have been there. Coming off a pretty good game here. 34.75 is what we're looking for. Um, that's what I feel that we could look for. Um, so 4,700 is not bad, especially since you know, you're know averaging right around 6,500. You want to go down to Caleb Martin in that same game. 30 minutes, 15. Really hasn't done much. Uh Jacquez Jr. We look at Jacquez Jr. here. 32 minutes, 45 fantasy points. Went for over 10 times value. I think we could see that yet again. Um, that's what I would look at. So I'm going to go down to 4,500 and I'm going to take uh, Jacquez here. Then we get to the center position. Washington, Spurs, Portland, Detroit. So you want to go here. Washington yet again. Boston, your Cornet. Tillman, like it, it feels like it's going to be one of those days. That's kind of where I'd look at. I'd look at Boston. I'd look at Cornette. We're looking at 4,700. The minutes have been weird. They've definitely been weird. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be Cornette as the start here. So I'm going to take him. Then that gives us an average, which is wild. I don't know if we've ever had an average like this. 7,800 the rest of the way. So 7,800, you can afford a lot of people. And you can see a lot of people are going to be out. But Tyler Hero was towards the top of our list at 7,200. I'm going to take him. Um, this is a, a moving, working lineup. It will change. It probably can. Uh, we'll just have to wait to see who else is out uh, for the rest of the day. But we look at that um, for forward. You know, I mean, basically, you can afford everybody. From I mean, you can afford everybody. It just depends on where you want to go. Paolo was one that was up there that you could look at, especially with Giannis being out. We throw him in there at 8,600. I don't mind that. Utility, we can still go 7,600, which still gives us Jordan Poole, who was out uh, Friday night. You could look at uh, Darius Garland, who's questionable. So he is doubtful. So that will open up value um, if you're looking on the value side, especially with Levert being out as well. Um, Josh Hart against Chicago. We did have him up there. The minutes are there. We know that. The, it. Fantasy points have been weird. Splits-wise, against Chicago three times. He's only averaged 21.1 fantasy points per game against uh, Chicago this season, which is unfortunate. Um, so do you want to go with a different direction? Do you want to try and get Evan Mobley in there and move around someone? So if we put Mobley in there, we took out Hero. We go guard for 7,100. Kobe White against the Knicks. Michael Bridges against Philly. 
You can look at Philly. You can look at splits wise, three games, average 29.2 fantasy points. I don't mind that. This is just a simple lineup. Um, can change, will change. Don't worry about it. Uh, again, take it a little bit slow today. I feel like that's kind of what we need to do um, a little bit. I don't love this lineup or love this day um, because the main slate is seven games. The afternoon slate is eight games for whatever reason. Okay, so that's going to bring us to um, just what we're looking at. And that's this slate, the afternoon slate. So overall, Luca's out, uh, Kyrie's out, Wimby is out already. Um, Jokic is questionable, uh, but been bothered by a hip. But if you saw it out Sunday, it'd be like be precaution, going to the playoffs. Like we're going to see this. This is where I'm trying to say maybe take a little bit easy today. That's kind of what we're looking at. But we will go through. We will get top five at each position um, for the afternoon slate, and we will build a little lineup here. So looking at point guard. SGA, we've got him right around 24 DVP. We've got him right around 50 fantasy points. De'Aaron Fox, number two at 48 fantasy points. Number three, Devin Booker at 46 fantasy points. Four is Steph Curry at number uh, 43 fantasy points. And James Harden is number five at 43 fantasy points out of him. Then we move to the shooting guard. We've got Ant Edwards, love me some Anthony Edwards against Phoenix, right around 45 fantasy points. Uh, Paul George, number two, about 42 to 45 fantasy points. Number three is Jalen Green. We're looking at 39 fantasy points. Number four, as of now, Jordan Goodwin, who was out the other day, um, 35 fantasy points. And number five is Jaden Ivey against San Antonio without uh, Wimby, without some other guys, 28 DVP, 34 fantasy points out of him. So let's move on to the next position. We're going to look at small forward. We're going to look at LeBron right now. I don't know if he's going to be in or out. Um, Lakers can clinch the number eight seed with a win. And yeah, so everyone's going to play for the Lakers. This is a game that matters. I think you want to focus on AD. You want to focus on the Lakers. Like this is one you want to focus on. We've got him top right now at small forward. Right around 52 fantasy points. Would not be surprised if we see a, a vintage LeBron or see the NBA um, allow LeBron to score a ton because it, it's true. It, the playoffs are better with LeBron in there. Come on. Um, number two, Amen Thompson here against the Clippers. Right around 36 fantasy points. Uh, number three, Trey Murphy the third against the Lakers, and which should be a competitive game. 19 DVP for Trey Murphy, around 35 fantasy points. Number four is Michael Porter Jr. Would love him a little bit more if, in fact, Jokic does sit for whatever reason. Obviously, that'll bump up some people. Uh, we've got Michael Porter uh, right around 31 fantasy points. And then number five, Jake LaRavia against Denver in that same game, right around 30 fantasy points. Moving to the power forward, Anthony Davis, like I said, I think if we can, maybe we'll just build a lineup uh, using the, the Lakers game here too. But I think Anthony Davis, I think LeBron James make the most sense. Um, if you can fit both of them in there, that is expensive, but that is one way to build around. Uh, you got him right around 55 fantasy points. Wouldn't be surprised if we could see 60 out of him. Uh, number two is Zion. Uh, right around 46 fantasy points. Number three is Kevin Durant, right around 42 fantasy points. Uh, number four is Jalen Williams against Dallas without Luka, uh, basically against all the backups. Jalen Williams could be a sneaky option. Uh, 35 fantasy points. And number five is Carl Anthony Towns. Played one game since coming back, had about a month off, going up against Phoenix. Right around 33 fantasy points. So there you, that's the power forward. Now we get to the center position. If he is in, Jokic is at 63 fantasy points. I think he probably sits. It makes sense for him to sit, um, but just kind of watch that. Got him number one center today at on this afternoon slate at 63 fantasy points. Uh, number two is uh, Sabonis against Portland. We're looking around 52 fantasy points. Number three is Rudy Gobert does drop down. So it is a drastic drop right around 30 uh about 40 fantasy points, so about a 12-point drop between Sabonis and Gobert. Uh, DeAndre Ayton is questionable. Let's see if he's 8,500. Let's see. Lower back soreness. Yeah, he might be out. 
Um, if he is out, then Duop Reith and Moses Brown would make sense. So um, we'll go away from him. We'll go Yusuf Nurkic here against Mini, uh, about 36 fantasy points. And then Jabari Smith against the Clippers, 21st DVP, right around 32 fantasy points. So what I want to do is try to build a lineup with both AD and LeBron in there. Now, it, it might be impossible. It might be ugly, but we can try, okay? Uh, you've got to find some value here. I think value is going to open up with San Antonio because we're going to be missing all the big guys. So Wesley's one that he started Friday, second start of the season. Um, if Branham is out again with a concussion, with also uh, Wimby being out, I think we could see something. So Wimby, did he play? Played uh, played Friday, uh, but isn't playing. So he is out. So that will open up value. That is what I'm talking about. Branham would be good, but he is already ruled out. Yeah. So Branham's already ruled out. Uh, Osmond's ruled out. Wimby's ruled out. Keldon Johnson's ruled out. It's going to open up value. People want, for whatever reason, people are looking at Devontae Graham. Um, the minutes have been there. He really hasn't done a ton with it. So I think people will look at Graham. And you could look at Svi. 43 coming off, you know. 43 fantasy points against Denver in this game against Detroit could be a sneaky game 5200 but I want to save a ton of money I'm going to find value we got to find value today that is the name of the game value 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 so we move on to another game where a lot of people are going to be out Dallas so if we look at this Luca's out Kyrie's out that opens up a ton okay so with the big guys being out Derek Lively being out People are going to be on like Derek Jones. They're going to be on Maxi Kleber. They're going to be on Washington and Gafford. I think I want to look a little bit at Hardy. So looking at Hardy, Jaden Hardy here, 29 minutes his last game. Uh, with everyone being out, he received increased playing time. And I think that happens here again. You can see over 10 times value, um, 11, 12, 12 times value. I'm not saying he's going to get that again, but I could see him with everyone being out that does open up some value. So even with putting two 10,000 plus players in there, we are still averaging right around 5,300, which I'm okay with. That is okay. So now we got a center guard forward and utility. This is another one that we've used him a lot and we could take advantage. So let's take advantage of Mr. Lockdale. Hold on a second. Or Landell. It's Jock, not Jock. Yeah. Okay. So we look at him. 4,300 is another value option. Going up against the Clippers. We look at that. The minutes have been there for him. Coming off a really good game. 35.5 in 32 minutes. Splits wise, he's faced the Clippers twice this year. Average only 5.3. But again, this is going to be a crazy day. I'm playing. I'm making a GPP lineup. This is one lineup. So now we can average 5,600 guard and through there. Another one is my go-to safety blanket with Memphis, Jordan Goodwin. I've, I've used him, I feel like, every game lately. Um, coming off a f 10 times value there. 5,900 getting 10 times value is a hell of a game. Um, especially if Jokic is out, especially if other people are out. Would love Jordan Goodwin. Anyway, we're looking at probably 36 minutes. Got a great matchup here. I'm locking him in there at 6,000. Now we average 5,500 for both... Um, forward and utility and one that i said i think we want to take is jalen williams against everyone being out in dallas we already mentioned that coming off here minutes have been there i think he could see a little bit more minutes here i'm putting in jalen williams so now 3900 is where we have to find value utility wise you come down to 3900 it's kind of a a minefield waste field here but if ayton is out do operate makes sense um, could see some increased playing time, increased minutes. He got over one point per minute there, um, so he did good. It just depends on Aiton if he's out, out. So if Aiton is out, I love Duop Reith. Um, another one is, you could come down a little bit, Detroit versus San Antonio. Detroit being obviously terrible. We look at Troy Brown. Uh, the minutes have been there. They fluctuated a little bit. But in this game with a lot of the San Antonio being out, 3,700, I don't mind Troy Brown. I would look at Troy Brown. Um, again, I think it's you could look at Duop Reith. You could look at Troy Brown. It really just depends on the... Once lineups come out, once we know who are in and out, this could be one of them. So 
that's just a little mind inside my mind right now as we check everything out. That is the slate for the afternoon for the final day of the regular season. If you want to check out the website, fantasyteamadvisors.com obviously is the website. We've got it all over there. If you want, if you haven't already, check out the MLB video for today's slate as well. We also have NASCAR, so we've got it all. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, get those down below. You can email us, dfshelp1 at gmail.com. That's what I've got. Good luck on this last day. Let's bring home some bacon. Peace.